My name's Danielle Filosa, and if you saw my handmade home tour, you know I have an eclectic style. I'm gonna show you how to style a space that both looks good and feels good. When styling a space, the first thing you wanna think about is the theme that you wanna have in, in the room, along with the color palettes that you might wanna bring in. So for this space, for the guest room, what I would like to do is bring in elements of Maine into the space because it's where people are gonna be staying and we are in Maine, so that feels appropriate. When I first come into this room, the thing that I notice the most is how much wood is present, which is also just a part of the house in general. My go-to is just putting things on the wall that kind of match with it. And I think natural elements is a really good component of that, along with mixing maybe other things like photography and drawings as well but you don't wanna put maybe too much, I think is the number one thing. The wood is already doing its own thing. The wood is already beautiful as is. And so that in itself, it's its own piece of art. So you wanna kind of play with it rather than push it away. I think an important part of what you're gonna do in a small room like this is to build little vignettes versus taking up the whole wall space that might exist, especially for in this space, there's a lot of wall space. So what I'd like to do is build little vignettes within each part of the wall so that it's not too much. When it comes to designing for me, a lot of it is trial and error. And I think that what you gotta do is just test things out. You know, put something on a wall. If it feels good, keep it. If it doesn't feel good, take it away. You know, it's just playing around. This is a creative process, so that means play. And if you start to get overwhelmed and tired, you just gotta take a step back and check it out. Always give it some time. So I'm gonna walk into this corner and the first thing I think is there's a wardrobe here. So the best thing to do would be to put probably a mirror in front. Uh, that gives people the ability to look at themselves when they want to after they wake up in the morning. So I think this mirror will be great. Colors that I wanna take from the mirror are probably gonna be what I play out within the space. So we have reds, blues, greens. Anytime I find a tray, I buy a tray because you can always use a tray. For this, it just makes things look a little bit neater, I think. And then there's a little seashell that I have. You know, we're on the coast, so I really like to add 3D elements to walls. I think sometimes when it's just a bunch of flat things, it can kind of be a little bit boring. These frames that are just the outlines of frames, but no glass, I think they're really beautiful just based off of the wood. Just like another 3D element that adds some texture. It's nice to mix materials. I don't really think there's a right or wrong. I think you just try things out and if you like it, you keep it. And the thing is, is if you end up not liking it, you can always change it. You know, nothing is permanent. Remember that a wall is also a, is a canvas. So play around and have fun. I'm going to add a couple more things. And because we're in Maine and Nautical's vibe here, I have this cool fish print that I think kind of fits. So I'm gonna put this here. And then this was another piece of Peter's. It's kind of falling apart, but it's actually of New Harbor. And because guests stay here and they're in New Harbor, I think this is kind of a great thing to see. And now we have a little cute vignette. And I don't think I wanna put anything else here. I think this is nice just how it is. And then what I like too is you have this yellow that's in this photo that kind of plays within the yellow that's in this mirror. You have the green and the green and the red and the red. And it kind of all in a weird way comes together, although they're all very different items. And I think that's why you should always just play around and see what you get. So we're gonna give this little vignette some room to breathe. And now we're gonna think about so now we have this like beautiful little corner here and we wanna kind of let it move slowly into this next, this next area. So I have this really cool old oar that kind of fits perfectly and that like that. So you still have a good amount of wood that you're seeing, which is nice, but now there's this other really beautiful element that's added, also another 3D element, as I said, love adding 3D stuff. And I think that's really nice. This wood matches kind of the wood and the ore, which is really nice. There's a little purple in here, a little gold. This gold matches the gold that's in the mirror. The wall is good, but I still wanna add maybe a couple elements to on the windowsill. I like dried flowers because they're kind of like vintage flowers, <laughs> you know? They also last forever, so you can always have them in a vase and you never have to change out your flowers, which personally sounds great to me. 
And because we're on the coast, I think it's appropriate to add some shells just here. That feels pretty good to me, I think. So with found objects, as you can tell um, in my home, I really like them. And I love to make these little seashell found object pieces that I find just the water right down there. And I put this in a shadow box. And this is a little piece that will go right here for the guest that's gonna be staying here. So now I think the next step would be bedding, which means I'm gonna probably wanna bring in yellow and red for sure. This is a beautiful blanket I thrifted. Some people might not be comfortable with thrifting bedding, which I get, but you can always thrift accents and it can really add some great layers, cool decorative pillowcases, blankets and stuff like that because it can really make a boring bed into a pretty unique one. So this is our last blank space and I'm gonna add a couple pieces to make it feel a little bit more homey in here. I think leaving this area blank is nice just to kind of have some of this wood be shown. When I think about this space and designing it, I think an element is I really want people to know that they're in Maine when they're in this space. Having these like little vignettes feels like the appropriate way to decorate the space. I just want people to feel comfortable and I want them to also wake up and have things to look at and be like, oh, I'm in Maine right now. My biggest design tip is that you should absolutely try and make a space feel like you because design is a form of art. Find things that you like and try them out. It might not look like your friend's bedroom. It might not look like your parents' bedroom. It might not look like anyone else's other bedroom. But if it feels right to you, express yourself because you're the one that's gonna be in it. And I guarantee you it will inspire other people too.